Pete's here in his golf art. We are doing a ceramic coating on it. I'm pretty sure it's hidden. Pretty sure. calling me he doesn't know it yet I can hear you oh I heard you uh, what's happening not much it has 963 miles on it now already already I haven't tripped it much this year. what 27 2017 right what's that 2017 right yeah 2017 2017 and I already have tail lights on it oh well, upgraded tail lights the yeah. Euro tail lights Euro tail lights they're way better than the sock ones are a little bit more red instead of tinted and they also don't blink amber like that and then with the lights on oh yeah so way cooler than the uh, stock US tail lights and wait the best part is that what is that that is the Millennial Anti-Theft Control. Did you hear about a carjacking recently that was thwarted by someone who had a manual transmission? Really? Yes. They tried to carjack this guy's car, and then they got in, it was stick, they couldn't drive it, and then they got out. I had it at the dealer the other day to fix a puncture, and they were like, do you want it washed? And I said, absolutely not. Definitely no. <laughs> do not let dealers wash your car ever, ever, it can ever. It to shit. So clean and pretty. Yeah. Except for the gum. Don't mind the gum. It's normally hiding the door. All right. It's bath time for this thing, and then it's a polish, and then it's ceramic coating. And look at that. What is that? What is that? Awesome, awesome, awesome. No DSG. Pete is a true to form, six speed manual car guy. What do you guys think? I love this car. I love this color. It's kind of like the Audi Seapang Blue Pearl, but it's a little bit, a little bit less flake. Um, it's just a, it's a really, really smooth color. So. What we're gonna do, we're going to use some CarPro eraser. We're gonna go ahead and get all of the contaminants off, get the wipe down done. You guys saw it's been washed with Adam's Strip Wash. So we're gonna go ahead and do the wipe down, get everything cleaned off. Then we're gonna use CarPro Essence to do a polish. I'll probably use a medium orange foam cutting pad. We'll get that done. I gotta let that cure then for an hour and then boom, it's coating ready. Be ready for the C Quartz UK. We'll put that on, I'll get that filmed for you and we'll see how this one turns out. So before you guys ask, basically what I'm doing here is a lot of you obsessed garage guys will know, but the car pro eraser, I'm basically prepping the surface. So before I polish, I want to go ahead and pull anything off of the car that still might be left over. Now I used a strip wash, but that's still not as effective as like an IPA wipe down or a prep solution like this. So I used a microfiber tag, went through all the spots I'm going to polish, I've wiped it down. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to tape off all the areas that we don't want to get the DA on so the machine doesn't damage anything. So we'll get that taped off and then we'll start with the car pro essence, get the polishing done and go onward.
let me show you guys the paint right now because went through did CarPro Essence on an orange pad and don't mind my ridiculous shadow but I think it came out really nicely so I'm gonna go finish the rest of the car we're gonna teach Pete how to polish Pete's never done this before so we're gonna teach Pete how to do this and then get the whole car done. The nice thing about Car Pro Essence is you don't have to do the wipe down after. So we're going to let that cure for an hour once we're done with the car. Then we can go through and put the seat quartz on and then hopefully that can cure and then Pete can be on his way. So onward. Oh, and before any of you ask, no, the car has not been sitting in the sun. I opened the garage door up pretty much then polish, so the car was still cold, the paint was still cold, so don't get your panties in a bunch. How's it going, Pete? Not too bad. Pete. Learning how to polish with a machine. Never done this before. I've polished cars, but not with machines. So he's, he's learning the quick way. It's kind of scary. Yeah, the quick way because it's my car. <laughs> and if I screw up, I screw up my own car. See, yeah, that, see, that that's, it works out great for me because then he just, you know, if he foobars it, it's not my fault. Pete's car is ready to go for sea courts. I've run out of time for the day, but we'll continue tomorrow. But it turned out really, really nice. Not sure how much of it's going to show up, but I mean, it is just, it is gorgeous. So I'm really, really happy with how it turned out and you know, I can't wait to get the sea quartz on there because it looks phenomenal now, but it's going to look even better once the sea quartz gets on there. So these are the items in the sea quartz coating. You have the sea quartz itself. You have the reload, which is going to be the top coat after the sea quartz is on. You have your applicator block, so there's a little, little foam block here and what you're going to do is you take these microfiber, these kind of suede towels wrap it around this block, apply dots, just very little amount dots of this onto the applicator pad, and then we're going to move in a up and down, and then cross hatching pattern, similar to polishing, and let that cure. When you guys are done applying this, it needs to sit 24 hours, at least 24 hours, no rain, so I suggest you find a spot such as a garage. If you don't have a garage, get it under a uh, some sort of portable garage or just get it outside from the get it out away from the elements and let it everything cure properly What I'm doing here guys is cross hatching 
back and forth, and you saw on the other side of the hood how many little drops are needed. And I'm basically going through and cross-hatching until this stuff flashes or disappears. It takes about probably three, four minutes. And then after, I'm going through and very lightly buffing off any excess, very, very light pressure on the microfiber just to get any excess off, and then it should be good. Panel by panel, slowly and slowly, Pete is learning how to apply seed quartz. Quarter of a roof at a time. You live your life a quarter of a roof at a time. Exactly. <laughs> so we are finishing up the roof. Pete is learning, A, how to do this because he's curious, but B, let's be honest, doing the roof on that is a pain in the ass because of my height. <laughs> so. Troy is vertically challenged. Let's just get it straight. So, and he, again, he's here helping. He wants to learn how to do it. It helps him understand the product and how to take care of it. So we're gonna get the rest of the car done and he'll be on his way tomorrow night. I finished up the last coat on everything. I have to tidy up a couple things yet to go. Once everything's tidied up on it, obviously this is gonna sit here for 24 to 36 hours and let it cure. We're gonna top it off with CarPro Reload and then Pete should be good to go. So nothing crazy on this video. I know it's a little longer video, but I wanted to get back into some detailing videos for you guys. Also, there's a ton of videos on how to apply ceramic coating. So I didn't really wanna to go too far in depth, but I just kinda of wanted to share the whole detail process with you. So if you guys wanna know more about ceramic coatings, just YouTube ceramic coatings or C quartz or ceramic Pro or, or whatever and it, it's pretty much the principles are the same across most of the products across the board so check them out on YouTube just you know Google them or whatever you need to do if you really want to see more in-depth on coding process but yeah here she is guys don't mind Pete's bike <laughs> got caught in the rain but yeah it's good to go and uh, catch you guys on the next video see ya